Good evening. I'm Kara Newman, Spirits Editor for Wine Enthusiast Magazine. Oh. <laughs> Yay, Spirits. Before Del Maguey, very few US consumers even knew about Mezcal. But Ron Cooper changed that, and he blazed a path for other producers to enter the market, too. He first discovered this spirit while living and working as an artist in Oaxaca, Mexico, the spiritual home of Mezcal. By 1995, Cooper began exporting Mezcal to the US under the Del Maguey label. And in 2017, Del Maguey became part of the Pernod Ricard portfolio, widening its profile even further. Mamá, yo quiero saber de dónde son los cantantes, que los encuentro galantes y los quiero conocer, con sus trovas fascinantes que me las quiero aprender. Mamá, yo quiero saber, mamá, yo quiero saber de dónde son los cantantes que los encuentro galantes y los quiero conocer Seven to 15 years snorting has been energy Ok Serán, ay mamá Serán de La Habana Serán de Santiago Tierra soberana Son de la Loma Y cantan en llano for creating the field of premium mezcal, wine enthusiast is delighted to announce Del Maguey as Spirits Brand of the Year, and accepting the award is Ron Cooper. Thank you, Cara Newman, and thank you, one enthusiast, my partners, Michael, Steve, Steve, and uh, our new partners, Pernod Ricard and MBV. It's been an amazing year, 2017. It's an honor to have been Given this recognition, I believe every person in this room deserves the same recognition. I don't know how I got up here, but I'll tell you a little story. But first, I have to pour a little mezcal on the floor. And I've done this in boardrooms on great floors. It's a little mezcal for our ancestors and for Mother Earth, OK? Um, In 1969, as a young artist, I was educated by some artist friends and uh, began to drink a wine at, uh, that Steve Wallace turned me on to us at Wally's in LA. And it was Ridge. And I realized that this wine was made in different places and the flavors changed. Well, in 1986, I went to Oaxaca uh, one of many times previous, and returned to Oaxaca and began to understand the ritual use of mezcal. And these farmers that made these incredible uh, elixirs in remote villages. In 1995, uh, I had to form a company to make sure that me and my friends had the best mezcal. Um, the rest is history. So here's to all of you. And Stigy Bale. 